My name is uh, Sergio Simon. Uh, I am a son of a, a German Jew immigrant to Brazil during the war. I am a medical doctor by profession, but I'm also on the side as volunteer work building the Jewish Museum of uh, Sao Paulo. The Jewish Museum will be centered around Temple Betel, an 84-year-old synagogue in the center of Sao Paulo. The Jews have been in Brazil for 500 years, and we found this building to be uh, probably the best place to set up an exhibition about the history of the Jews in Brazil. The synagogue was uh, started in uh, 1932. It was built by uh, Russian Jews and Lithuanian Jews and has been one of the main synagogues of, of Sao Paulo, but has been abandoned as a synagogue about 10 years ago. So our first task was to restore the temple, which had uh, visible signs of decay. We were able to uh, receive uh, support for the restoration of the building from the German government through the Auswärtiges Amt. The restoration was done by a specialized company here in Sao Paulo, and uh, the uh, Auswärtiges Amt uh, has paid for most of it. We started restoration three years ago. You can see that the Hebrew uh, wards uh, have been lost, most of it. And this was also repainted, and this is how it looks today. This is the original look of the temple uh, when it opened its doors. It say, may this house be a home for every people, for all the people uh, in the world, not only for the Jews. So it's an invitation for everyone to enter and, and feel at home here. And, uh, all the windows were broken, the glasses were broken, or most of them were broken. And we were able to find the original glass, and now it's restored to the original uh, look in 1932 when the temple was open. We had no real idea how the building looked originally. We wanted to restore it to the original condition. So we had to study with the laboratory all the layers of paint and, and try to find out what, what was the uh, oldest paint used for this building. So we got to a color which is very different from the color it was painted. And this is how it looks today from the outside. You can see the columns are restored, the Hebrew lettering, the windows, the front doors. We repainted everything and cleaned everything and it looks just beautiful. I think the most happy moment for us is going to be the inauguration of the museum next year, of course. In the process of restoration, we had many very nice surprises. Like, uh, we found a, a replica of the temple, which was built right on the side of the temple. We have been doing sort of an archaeological discovery of the, of the temple, which has been very nice for the community, because this memory had been lost and we we're trying to revive it.